Okay. The switch is here and ready to Splatoon. Yeah, um, well, at least I know that that is a problem now, uh, and I will be looking into it sooner rather than later, because, yeah, I want that resolved for, uh, next week. I don't know why it wasn't at 60, because I limited it to that on the software, but I don't know. I don't really have that problem with Splatoon, so... Um, I mean, I'll check the shops, but again, it doesn't really seem like they've added or much has changed uh, this season with regards to the clothing, so I really doubt that there's really going to be anything that I want. Yeah. Nope. Let's just get into it, shall we? Oh, I did, uh, yesterday I got the, um, the gold capsule from the machine, which I think changes every season. I'm 100% on that. Like, the reward that you get from it, the rare reward, but that was cool. Uh, still, um, still haven't gotten Octoling or Octopus as a title, though. Uh, almost 300 hours of gameplay in, so that's cool. I'll let you know if that changes, but so far, still nothing. Sorry, nothing. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's still... Great. City of Color is always a safe choice. Um, I still need one more gear slot unlocked for my headgear and shirt, so I'll keep wearing these. And we are getting pretty close to that three star on the Anakai Nova, so I'm just keep trucking along with that. Oh boy, Wahoo World and Manta Maria, huh? Uh. All right, well, Minta Maria is not bad. Wahoo World is okay, I guess. Not exactly my favorite map, but hmm. I'll, I'll manage. Oh, hey, what do you know? Wahoo World. Ooh, well, at least we're starting off with Tentacle to the Metal. That's a very good start to the music side. Where's the enemy? Oh, down here. Whoa. Oh, wait. <laughs> so I got him with the inkjet, and simultaneously he got me with his trizuka. Wow. I want to see that from, like, just like a third person, like, well, like a, a, a camera view that's not locked to my player model. That probably looked really cool. Oh. Speaking of inkjets... Oh, well. Denied. <laughs> Nobody gets to inkjet this match. I don't get to. That enemy doesn't get to. There will be no jetpacking and rocket launching in this Wahoo world. ink mine because that's kind of impressive i didn't think that thing did that much damage i thought it was more of just like a utility thing but i guess he might have been low enough that any little splash of uh damage there would have taken him out moist pants that's that's a name all right i did have uh i was i was playing some last night and i did have a 
uh, a person who stayed in a lot of my matches with a really good name I quite enjoyed. It was Cowabungus. I don't really know why I like that that much. Damn it. <laughs> um, I don't know why I like that name that much, but I don't know. Fun combination of two fun words. Bungus. <laughs> I don't... Is that a word? I don't, I don't know if that's actually a word. Pro probably not. It doesn't really sound like a real word. Well, for... Well, you know what? I'm actually not going to finish that sentence yet. I'm going to look at the map first, and then I'll say what I was going to say. Okay, yeah. So what I was going to say was, for once, I actually get my first win on my first match. How about that? Usually I go on a little bit of a losing streak, but hey, here we are. Fist bump? Aw, oh, no fist bump. Dang. You love to see it, but not happening this time. Oh, and, uh, well, so much for those last gear slots. They are done. Uh, I'll play one more match with this stuff, just because I don't feel like going through and changing it. But after this match, I'll probably back out so we can apply another food buff and uh, probably change up my gear since, yeah, this stuff will be capped out. Maybe start leveling something else I have. <clears throat> but yeah, that went rather well, I'd say. I can't think of any gear that I have immediately that I want to start leveling, but uh, we'll take a look through my large wardrobe collection after this. And hopefully I have another good food buff, but for the most part, it's probably just going to be like an, an XP one. Because that's like all this game gives me. Wait, lemon and lime? Both of them? Yeah, there they are. Lemon and lime. And they're both using Splatana. They have three Splatanas on their team. Alright, well... They like their melee on the, the other side. I'm not going to dock them for it. Not my particular favorite weapon of choice. Though, outside of when this game launched, I haven't really gone back to use them too much, so... Maybe I should. I don't know. I feel like the only melee weapon, if you even want to call them that, uh, that I've found success with and enjoyed using are the brushes. Uh, I, I'm not too keen on the, uh, um, the, <laughs> the, uh, the rollers. I mean, I guess you could consider those kind of like melee range, even though that some of them do have a pretty good, like, fling range, I guess. Uh, and then, what, I guess Splatana's now? Yeah. I think I prefer them over rollers. Like, I, okay, how many? Oh, right. They have three, so... They've got at least two Ultra Stamps going around, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I would probably prefer to use, a, like, a Splatana over a Roller, but, yeah, still not really my first choice. Oh, actually, speaking of all the weapons, that reminds me, I th think, I'll, I'll check after this, but I think there's a special, uh, match scenario going on right now, uh, with random weapons. So, basically Fiesta, but Splatoon, what we were just kind of doing in Halo. If that is still going on, I might try it out for a couple matches. It could be fun. We'll see. Kind of spice it up. Okay, well. Was that all three of the Splatana users? I think so. At least two of them were there. Goodbye, Lime. Where's Lemon? Give me the full sprite. Or, uh, 7-Up, I guess. They're more into that. There they are. Got him. Cool. Uh, or Mellow Yellow? I think that's also Lemon Lime. Not sure, though. I don't really, I don't really drink a whole lot of that one in my, in my time. Frankly, I don't really drink a lot of Sprite either, 
soda in general, but Sprite's pretty good. Lemon lime tends to be a pretty refre refreshing combination. Getting stamped like four different occasions though is uh yeah, rather not refreshing, I, I do say. And I think we lost that one. Sure did. Well, hey, even, even Lemon and Lime's uh, outfits are matching, though. You gotta respect the uh, dedication. Alright, cool. So, we've got basically a full bar of catalog to go before I am uh, satisfied with stopping playing for tonight. So, let me check a couple of things. Challenge, is that one still up? For the... No, it is not. I do not think so. So the next one isn't until next week. And then... Yeah, both of them, I guess, are like next week. Might try the Fog one. That, Ooh, especially on Hammerhead Bridge. Fog battle on that map would be pretty cool. The Splat Zones, and it's kind of whatever. Dang, I guess I just missed the... Uh, the random battle that was going on. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, we'll just continue with normal turf war. But what do we want to level next? Do I have any particular cool outfit combinations or, like, shirts? I usually pick my shirt first when, like, thinking about leveling new gear. I hate it so much. Um, this jacket's pretty cool. I do like it. Reminds me of Futaba's, like, getup from Persona 5. But I also kind of like to go with like the season uh when like picking an outfit and it is summer and if you wore this outside right now you would probably die of heat stroke so no <laughs> we're, we're not gonna go with that one rad plaid casual taroka rainbow tidy 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 what tie dye let's say remain tie dye shirts are pretty cool we'll keep that one in mind that is a potential candidate for what to level next uh black polo looks cool i don't really know if i'm too much into wearing polos outside of work apex sweater also looks cool but again uh sweater i, I would not want to wear this right now given how hot it is you know what i'm gonna equip the tie-dye for now and we'll just kind of leave that in the background while we we browse our selection but i, I think it's kind of the the clear winner here so far Got another one of, like, these shirts, but the one I just leveled up is basically this, just, like, 8-bit and not just the art. Octo T, that's a nice one, but I already have that leveled. Business Animal. I like this one. It's got, like, zebra and giraffe uh, patterns on it. Ninja Squid, though, and I don't know. I, mean, I guess I don't really have too much that I've leveled with Ninja Squid on it. So, could be a good candidate for that. I think I'm just going to go with the tie-dye. Oh, well, or I could level up my amiibo gear. My marinated top looks pretty cool. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with the tie-dye, though. Looks nice. And uh, has Ink Saver main, which, uh, yeah, that's a, an ability that I quite like having on as many <laughs> pieces of clothing that I like to use as possible. Yeah, we'll just go with that. And uh, as for the shoes next, any colorful shoes to go along with it? The crazy arrows here. Stealth jump. Mm, they look cool, so I still might consider them. Sabi Tabi, those are mostly maxed out. Yeah, we'll just go with those, and then headgear, I don't know. Uh, triple hat. I've gotten a, I've gotten a couple of 
Yeah, that's from the new catalog. I, I don't think I want to level that. That's kind of cool. Like a baseball helmet, I guess. I do like this beanie. The Zed Fry beanie. Although, I guess I'm going to look for uh, Ink Recovery, probably. Something that I have here that I might want to level up, because um, Ink Recovery and Ink Saver are two abilities I typically like to have equipped on me at all times. So if I have any headgear with that that needs some gear slots filled, I think that's the answer here. I see a lot of Ink Saver main. Glasses. I normally don't wear sunglasses, but I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling that I can look cool. Or I could just use something that I already have level for the headgear. I don't necessarily have to level something in every slot I have. I don't know though. I, you know what? L let's be a cool tie dye dude. Go for it. Now before I get heavy into the leveling, I also am gonna go ahead and. Some of this gear uh, has some slots I can unlock, so might as well get the most out of it. Get all those slots open. I have plenty of super C. C or she's. Wow, I can't talk. Um, C snails, I believe, is what they are called. Yes, brain, thank you. Uh, so we can. Uh, yeah, super C snails. I don't know why I was having such a hard time there. Lots of S's in conjunction, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. We've got plenty of those, so might as well put them to use. It's also always cool seeing Spike. He's a cool-looking lad. All right, I think we've got our our getup. There we go. Cool tie-dye lad. All right, let's go paint the city whatever color the game gives to us. Oh, right, and a food buff. Yes. What do I have? Oh, wow, I actually have some money ones. How about that? Um, I don't have any for all teammates, but yeah, I'll double my battle cash. I don't need any more money in-game. I already have quite a bit, but... You know. Never hurts to have more for if I ever go on, like, a spending spree. Which isn't likely, considering weapons I uh, use tickets for, and they didn't really add any new clothing in this season, so... I guess I'll just be saving up for next season if they put in a bunch of new... stuff. Clothes to buy. Oh, and uh, yeah, we're back at Wahoo World. Fun. Well, at least our first match here went pretty well, so who knows? Maybe Wahoo World will just go pretty alright tonight. somebody with that. I would have been upset if I didn't at least get one of the, like, two people that I was right next to. You know, I meant to look, but I don't know if there's a limit to how many of these uh, mines I can place. Oh, I guess it's two, because I think placing that second one close to that other one I just placed got rid of the older one. So I guess it's two. Okay, that's fine. It would be kind of funny if there was no limit, though, or, like, it was just higher. You could just, like, stack a bunch of them. But, uh, yeah, that probably wouldn't really be that balanced. 
it, so, you know. Would be fun, though. You know what else would be fun? And I've discussed this with a friend before. I think it would be hilarious, which they actually could maybe do it now that they put the challenges back in, uh, in Splatoon 3. But I was mainly talking about it as, like, just a, a funny, like, April Fool's joke or something. Like, if one day they just decided in, like, Turf War, they just gave people, um, the Grisco weapons. Just random Grisco weapons. That would be just utter and pure chaos in a multiplayer, like, s setting. But, man, that would be so much fun. I don't know if something like that existed in Splatoon 2's challenge mode. I kind of doubt it. I don't know, though. I think it would be a fun, just stupid casual crazy mode to, to have every now and then or even better incorporated into like her, uh, a splat fest can you imagine that try tricolor turf war and everybody every player has like a grisco weapon that would be amazingly chaotic and i am all for it we should be too this is like this is the the timeline where chaos won out they won it's final fest we're living in the chaos timeline. Come on, embrace chaos. Give us Grizz co weapons and multiplayer Nintendo. Cowards. It won't happen, probably. But if it does, I'll be there. Still no fist bump, huh? Dang. While I have some downtime, I will check. See. Uh, yeah, no, I can still keep playing for probably another hour or so before uh, I should probably turn off any and all of my large electronics due to lightning. I'm sure there will be plenty of it. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on it as it draws closer. May have to uh, wrap it up earlier than I might want, as I mentioned before. Huh, when the music changes in the lobby here, usually that... I've noticed recently that usually means that the match is about to start, but... Um, we're apparently still matching, which makes you think somebody disconnected. But not really seeing any indication of that. Oh, okay, cool. Never mind. We're all in. Back at the Maria. Oh, I guess the maps are going to change soon, though. They change, I think, at 11, so... That's good. We'll get some, uh... Better maps. I mean, I don't particularly hate either of these maps. I mean, I don't think I particularly hate any map. I mean, I'd really have to look at the list and think about that, but I think I just kind of go along with the crowd on Wahoo World. It definitely made for a pretty cool big run map. That was the first one we had. Um, so it's fine, though. It's okay. And uh, this map is one of the newer ones. Uh, I also don't really think I have any super strong feelings about it. Positive or negative. It is just definitely one of the newer Splatoon 3 maps. Yep. I bet it is. Like, the only map that I can, like, really definitively say I like a lot, and I still really hope it makes a comeback in this game, is, uh, Moray Towers. I don't know. Just, I've always really liked that map since the beginning. And, um, I mean, I don't know. I think it seemed, it's popular enough. I mean, it's like the choice of stage that they did for Smash Bros, so... You know, that should say something. I want that map back. And I think it would be really fun. I said this before, but I think it would be really fun uh, for Big Run. It'd be so... Just, I don't know. It'd just be so weird fighting, like, Salmonid on that map. 
I mean, you could say that about any of the maps for Big Run, because, yeah, I mean, obviously they're multiplayer maps, so not really designed for that, but I don't know. So far, it's been pretty cool. I think their choices have been pretty all right, and I look forward to see what they choose next for whenever we get our next Big Run. Although, well, we should be due for a Splatfest pretty soon here, I would imagine. The last one we had was, like, early May, I think. Yeah, it was, like, early May, because it was the Zelda one, and we just had a big run. So we'll probably have another Splatfest in July, or summer one. It'll be interesting to see what the topic will be. Something summer-related, yes, I'm sure, but, like, what? Because we have, like, three idols now. I don't really recall what a lot of the, like, previous, like, summer-themed... Ow. Uh, topics were. So maybe it'll be something like... Do you prefer to, like, go to the, like, the beach? Or, like, the pool? Or stay inside or something? I don't know. We'll see. Last one was pretty cool just because of the, the collaboration nature of it and also having that special uh, version of... Um, uh, I don't remember the name of the map, but we got like that Triforce version of whatever that map was, which was pretty cool. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if they do special variations of other maps in the future. I think that was the first instance of something like that happening, at least in Splatoon 3, so... If the situation presents itself, I'm sure they will, you know, jump on it. Yuna from Final Fantasy X and X2, maybe? I don't know. Never played Final Fantasy X, so I don't know if she's in both. I think she is, though. I should play Final Fantasy X, though. It's, it seems like a very intriguing entry in the series, just from what little I know about it. Which mainly comes down to what I've seen of it in Kingdom Hearts and... Uh, I think the opening to the game I've kind of seen a bit of when the, like, remaster came out a couple years back. So I saw a lot of whatever, uh, I don't know what the name of the sport is, but whatever big sport that they play in that universe. Because I think you, uh, see a lot of that in the opening. I kind of remember it. But then I would have to commit to playing two games because, yes, Final Fantasy X is also one of the ones that got, like, a direct sequel. Which doesn't happen very often, but, you know, every now and then. It happened with ten. It happened with, uh, twelve. Or no, not twelve, sorry. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen got two sequels of the trilogy. And, uh, oh, well. What else? I guess four? There's the After Years. I think that's, that's considered a sequel, so... Those, I think, are the major ones that have occurred in the history of FF. Direct sequels. I guess you could consider 14's expansions sequels. But it's an MMO. They're just expansions. Obviously, they do continue the story, but... I mean, I don't, I don't really know if you want to call them direct sequels. It's still Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know. You'd probably go either way with that one. But yeah. I'll probably get around to playing Ten at some point. I think in terms of older FF games that I want to get around to playing sooner rather than later, I think... The one that's high on the priority list is, uh, probably 9. I hear and see so many good things about FF9. Um, and I mean, it certainly does look good. 
for sure from what I what I have gathered about it. And like recently there was that Project Memoria uh, video that released. So there's very clearly a um, a large passionate fan base for Nine. I think there's rumors of a, a remake happening. So maybe if I wait long enough, that would happen. But even if that happens, I still think I would want to try and play the original. Because I've seen what some of the uh, restoration like and mods do for like the PC version. And it looks absolutely beautiful. With like the uh, AI upscale backgrounds and like the new character portraits and stuff. It, it's it's some good stuff. Um, so that that's definitely how I would end up playing it. And if a remake comes out, for sure, I'd probably check that out. There are certain reservations, I think, especially after FF7 Remake has released, that some people would probably have about a remake of 9. Uh, you know, like, would they change it in, like, real time, or would it maintain its, like, turn-based nature? Uh, I think is the, the big one. Which I would certainly hope they would keep it turn-based, because... I feel like... I feel like that's just too ingrained into the the DNA of Nine specifically, just because Nine's kind of, I think at the time when it released was viewed as kind of a return to form. Because, uh, I mean, at that point, the last like really purely fantasy, like high fantasy FF game was probably, I don't know, Final Fantasy like four or five can't quite remember when they started introducing more, like, science fiction and steampunk elements. Six certainly had them. Seven, my god, yes. And eight, uh, I haven't played eight, but I think they're there. Not too sure. Okay, new maps. Um, but yeah, nine is, like, super high fantasy. Kind of was going back to the roots, so obviously it was also, like, just, like, purely turn-based. So I kind of feel like they would have to keep that for a remake. I certainly hope they would. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Alright, so what do we got? Museum, D'Alfonso, and Sturgeon Shipyard. I am okay with both of these. I quite like Museum, and Sturgeon is... is a map. One that, again, I don't think I really have any strong negative or positive feelings about. It's just a map. Wait, is that the one where they put the cars on the stick? Is it so? That's so stupid that I kind of like it. I think that's the map. Oh, no, no. This is the one with the, um... The, uh... Those... The, yeah, yeah, this is the one with those platforms that go, like, up and down sometimes. Never mind. Yeah. They, like, tilt. Uh, like me when I'm playing Mario Kart. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think... I don't know. What is that map? I think the one I'm thinking of with the, the cars on a stick. That's, uh... Steelworks or something? I don't remember what the name of the map is called, but yeah, that one's amazingly stupid. Um, but yeah, this map is all right, and I yeah, like I said, I do quite like the museum map. That's a that's a cool location to have a turf war in. But yeah, I will I guess stop on the Final Fantasy tangent for now. Other than I will say I am looking forward to. Uh, Great looking forward to 16 next week. We are very, very close to its release. And, um, yes, I am very excited to play it. Finally be using my PS5 for something. Because I honestly don't even recall the last time I extensively used my PS5. I don't know if there's really been anything on it this year that I've played. Most of the games that I've been playing this year have either been on the Switch or I've just been playing on PC. I, I mean, in 16's case, I literally don't have a choice. If I want to play it, I kind of have to play it on the PS5, so... For now. Uh, probably be on PC uh, sometime next year, but... Who knows when. Uh, I don't 
know if I can... No, the Kraken is invincible, so... Try as I might, my Inkjet is uh, not really going to do much to phase that. Just when I thought I was going to start something with my inkjet, the Octobrush user says no. Uh, I try to clean up a little bit here, but I don't know. I, unless my teammates made some pretty good progress over on their side of the map, I don't think we're getting that one. Nah, I think they got it. Uh, great. okay, <laughs> never mind. I don't know, that does not look like we won that, but... Hey, I'm not a cat. Two cats with a keen eye of uh, these sort of things, so... What Judd says goes. We won, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just realized I got double intensify action on my glasses and my shirt. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not? I guess I should probably start thinking about what weapon I might want to start using next extensively after I get the uh, Anakai Nova here to uh, three star. I don't know. I don't think any of the like really big new weapons introduced this season are ones that I'm going to want to extensively use just from that first night using them. I don't know. A bit too slow and ink heavy for my liking. I certainly like how they both look and i think they're cool additions especially the s92 i can't believe it took this long to get a super scope equivalent you know to the in zap but hey um but yeah i, I don't know i don't think i'm gonna want to get those to any like sort of high star like rating and uh i don't i don't think there were too many other weapon kits i introduced this season that were all too thrilling for me so I might just kind of hop around. I might not focus on Polo Sticker for a bit. Especially considering... Uh, I mean... I guess it's cool collecting the stickers, but uh, I ran out of room for stickers on my locker a long time ago, so it's not like I can really display most of them at this point without removing stuff that I already have, which I don't really want to do because I kind of already like how my locker looks. Though on the decoration side of things, I do have a feeling I'll be switching up quite a bit of that uh, once I am done with this catalog. Because uh, I'll definitely want a good chunk, if not most, of the uh, the consoles that you can get as decoration pieces on display in my locker. Because, um, you know, kind of like video games. I think they're pretty cool. Just, just a little bit. Just a teensy bit. Damn. Plus, I own, you know, most of those consoles in real life, so it'll be cool to have them on display here, as well as in the real life. And on, the, and in, actually, in the case of the uh, the NES and the SNES in this game, I don't exactly know how they're gonna look in the locker. Like, if they'll be like like quote-unquote full size or if they'll be like the minis but if they're smaller then that'll actually work out a bit better because i don't have a normal actually i do have a normal nes um, i don't have a normal snes but i do have the mini versions of both so if they're smaller then that actually works out even better i do have a normal gamecube or i say normal gamecube as if there's you know a different version of the gamecube to own i never really redesigned the gamecube well i mean I guess you can consider the the Panasonic Q a redesign. I don't know. If, well, I don't know if that's really considered a redesign. It's just a different model of GameCube that was never really sold anywhere uh, except Japan. Really cool looking system though. 
very, very awesome looking. And hey, it has DVD playback. Which is neat, I guess. I know that was kind of a big deal back then with like the PS2 having it and stuff, but I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of thinking about it with like a modern mindset where like DVDs and well, pff, DVDs, yes, those things are long dead. If you want like physical movies and such, it's going to be Blu-rays at this point, And even then, I mean, yeah, sure, people still buy Blu-rays, but, you know, most of the time, if you're wanting to watch a movie, you're just going to stream it, so, yeah. Also, low battery on my controller. Okay, might need to back out and swap over to a different pro controller of mine. Because my Splatoon one here is running low. I think we got him to win, though, at least. That we did. Fist bump? Maybe. I got three golds, so... If Phenom Jack here did as well... Nope. Dang. I strive to get one fist bump per time I play this game. But so far tonight, I don't think we've seen one on either side. All right, yeah, let me switch out my pro controllers here. Um, yeah. Plug this one in and find one of my mini that, you know, has a battery in it. My Chase of Kingdom one should, I think. My Xenoblade one's closer. Does this one have... Yeah, it's fine. It's just a Xenoblade one. Probably my second most well-worn... Actually, no. Well, I don't know. The Xenoblade one was the only one I had for the longest time, so it's probably the one I use the most. But I've used the Splatoon 3 one quite a bit since it came out, so... It could be neck and neck. Either way, this one and the Splatoon one are for sure the ones I've used the most. Obviously, the Tears of the Kingdom one. Uh, haven't had that one for very long, so yeah. I do, oh man. I, God, I love the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 one. It's a shame they didn't do one for 3. Um, but yeah, this one looks awesome. I really like... I think this is the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the only um, pro controller that has a solid... Like, diff, like the... So, of course, the grips on the, the Xenoblade one are like this red... And I think this is the only pro controller that has, like, a solid color uh, on the, the whole back of the controller as well. I don't think any of the other ones, like, special edition ones, have that. Um, I mean, I have every single special edition pro controller except for the Splatoon 2 one. But given that that one's whole thing is, like, one grip is pink, one is green, kind of like how the Splatoon 3 one is, one is yellow, one is blue, and then it just has, like imprints slash decals on the back. I assume it's a similar situation on the Splatoon 2 one. So yeah, I believe this is the only one that has a, a different solid color on it, which is cool. Um, actually, no. Is this white on the back? Check. No, it's not. Just the grip, sorry. So yeah, no. Uh, it is just the, the Xenoblade one. So that's quite unique. And before you don't ask, no, I don't know why I, I have all those special edition pro controllers. It just kind of happened over time. Uh, I just think they look cool. And they come out so infrequently, but by the time one comes out, it's just kind of like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. You know, controllers are quite expensive, especially pro controllers, but hey, never you can never have too many controllers, right? But yeah, I need to get that Splatoon 2 one. And then I'll have all of them. Until they release a new one. Which I'll probably end up getting, unless it's something I don't really like. And even then, I probably still get it just because I can then continue to say, yes, I have all Special Edition Pro Controllers. I have all Special Edition Pro Controllers, but I don't have a normal Pro Controller. Just a normal, like, gray one. Nope, don't have any of those. Just, just everything else. Although, honestly, the uh, Monster Hunter ones are pretty damn close to a, a normal pro controller outside of the, 
the special design that they have like on the center of the controller itself. Even then, it's nice, but kind of subdued. So I'm very surprised that they didn't at least use, uh, you know, like colored grips that, you know, most pro controllers tend to do. I thought purple grips for like the the uh, Magnum Allo one when Rise came out would have looked awesome. And I have seen custom ones of that, and yeah, it does look awesome. So I'm surprised that the um, the official one, you know, didn't do that. And then Malzeno for uh, Sunbreak. I don't know, I guess they could have done like silver or something? That would have been kind of cool. Or maybe just kind of like uh, pink, pinkish red, because like Malzeno is kind of like energy or color because of the curio on him is like pink and red, pinkish red, so that also would have looked cool, but I guess at that point it might have looked quite similar to the, the Xenoblade one, but I don't know, they could have just used like a different lighter color, like shade of red, and it would have been different enough, but well, that time has passed, the controllers are out, and I don't think that's going to happen outside of fan modding. Bruh. <laughs> Ultra jellyfish, bruh. That's pretty good. But yeah, either way, still pretty cool looking pro controllers and the amiibo that came out alongside them as well are pretty neat. The Magnum L amiibo especially. That one is just such a cool amiibo. He's so large and has really good detail. Like the energy, like kind of waves that are supposed to like be coming off and look really cool on the amiibo because they use like this kind of sort of translucent plastic for that. So it just looks really cool. time. Mm, I don't like that name. Yukamuku is good. That's that's just a good Pokemon name and a good silly sounding name in general. But one of my teammates names, uh, not quite a fan of. No, 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 they're jumping to me. Yeah, Toe Crush, that's, uh... Yeah, that's a no from me. That is a certified not fresh username. It's yeah. Please, bow user. Okay, we're good. Oh no, Pukumuka, I'm sorry. He's gone. Yeah. 
Yeah. How is he not- what? How are neither of us dead? Okay, well, somebody finally died. I don't know how it took that long for either side of us to, uh, to ink, because we were definitely hitting each other a bunch. Um, I think we got it? Yeah, we sure did. Cool. Triple gold. Come on, Amphior. Oh, god, never mind. Please, please not toe cross. I don't want to fist bump them. Okay, we're good. We're safe. <laughs> the one time we don't want a fist pump to happen, at least, you know, on one side of my teammates. And we're almost to 19 on the catalog. Which, uh, I don't quite recall when the next cool reward happens, i.e. Nintendo console. But I believe next up would be the, uh, what is it called in this? The Intended Entertainment System, the NES. I think it was at a, like somewhere in the 20s region of rewards, so should be getting it pretty soon here. Oh, damn it. I was hoping I could get a little bit like higher in, up in the air to avoid getting ultra stamped, but well, didn't quite work out in my favor. of a way out of that one. Dead, tired, butterfingers. Man, I haven't had a butterfinger in a while. Any candy bar, really. I don't know. Just not something I, uh, eat a whole lot of, I guess. I do like a good, like, Reese's, though, uh, every now and then. That's, like, probably my go to, I guess, not, not really a candy but well, I, I was gonna say, not really a candy bar specifically, but I guess some of the Reese's, uh, line of products, if you will, do take the form of a bar, so. Really? Did you hit him? Hmm. And more, more so, though, uh, typically a cup we're talking Reese's. Frankly, I don't really care what form or shape chocolate takes. Usually, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> and I feel like most people would agree. Whoever you are. Never mind. You can keep doing that because I suck at aiming this thing. <laughs> Jeans, the dead tired butterfingers himself. Well, that was kinda bad. If I stopped him, our base would be much more blue than it is orange right now, which could lead to problems. Yeah, actually that might have gotten in the game there. Never mind. We're good. We still got it. 
Wait, Inkless Inkling. So then what are you using, Amphi? If not ink. Hmm. Perhaps we don't want to know the answer to that. We might not like what we hear. Oh, hey! Level 19. Hey! And we got 3-star on the Anakai. Look at that. Lovely stuff there. Well, we can get our sticker. Cool. And, uh... We can go see what we get from our catalog. Uh, like a dual-sided shirt, and those shoes actually look kind of cool. Let's see what those are called, actually. I kind of like those. White low vert high tops. Sub power up, not bad. Yeah, those look pretty cool. Might level those once we're done with uh, what we're currently using. The Takoroka tandem. Hmm, I don't know. I'm a little split on these, uh, well, split t-shirts. There's been a couple of them. I certainly own a few myself. I don't know, it just doesn't really... I don't know, like, it just doesn't really look right. It's I don't know what else to really say. At least this one, I don't know. Like, black and red normally is a really cool color combo, but, like, the logos on the front don't really work well together and also like why is the red part of the shirt like longer than the the black part like you can kind of see it's not even it's kind of weird there are some that i have though that i think look all right there, there have definitely been a couple i think i should have some in here i mean there's a lot of pages of clothes i have so might take a while to find some examples. I mean, I guess you, this is kind of... I mean, this is more than just two colors. But, like, this looks okay. Because at least, you know, the the sections of the shirt are even. It's not, like, weirdly uneven. With, like, the red and the black on that one we just got. Maybe I'm... Am I wrong? I thought there were other ones. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. And yeah, again, like, you can see, like, one section of the shirt is, like, longer than the other, and it's it's less of the colors, it's just, I don't get why the, like, the logos, I don't know, the one, the logo on the black side of the shirt looks okay if it's, like, cut off, but then on the other side, it's just, like, the, the Tentatech logo cut in half, which eh, doesn't really look that good, I think, but... Okay, or maybe, yeah, I guess I'm wrong, because I really only have those two examples. This Tentatech one, and then the one that we just got, which is from uh, Takaroka. But, mm, yeah, I don't know. Not really digging it, but that's fine. But yeah, what do you got? Look at that. We already got three star on the Anakai. And as the, uh, the question I posed earlier is, what might I want to focus on next? The light tetra dualies. Oh yeah, these were actually, I guess, pretty cool. Dualies with a uh, zip caster. Maybe those. It's probably the only other, at least, recently introduced weapon kit that I would uh, consider getting to three star. Just because, yeah. But then again, they are just still like the the dark tetra dualies, which I already have holo stickers of. So. Eh, like, at least the, the Anakai, I didn't have the, the normal Spider Shot Nova, so I have that now, and I think it looks cooler. So, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know then. I don't really know if there's anything I want to actively work on uh, getting a holo sticker for, realistically. I don't have one for the splatter shot. I think I do for the junior. Actually, I think I have it for both juniors. Yeah, I have it for the junior and the, the custom. I have almost close to four stars on that one. 
Blobber is actually at about halfway to three star. Could go for that. That'd be pretty quick to get. I wouldn't have to be like starting from scratch on that one. And I don't think I have any other like sloshers like anywhere close to that. No, Blobber's the one that I have the most on. And it's a dumb, weird, different weapon. So, sure. Let's work on the Blobber, I guess. Screw it. I will shoot bubbles. My opponents shall fear me. That being said, let me check. Before I dive into too many more multiplayer matches, how is that looking? It's definitely getting pretty close, but uh, that's fine. I can keep going. I kind of want to, you know, get to the, the two-hour mark, so I'll just keep playing some more uh, Air Force. Doesn't hurt to keep building that catalog level up. And yeah, I'm just do some matches with this thing, because it has been a bit since I've extensively used the Blobber. I think most of the levels that I have on it are just because I was using it quite a bit at launch, because I saw a lot of other people doing it, and I thought it was just silly, just shooting bubbles as, like, your main source of attack is kind of fun, so... Skittles. Mm, not the biggest fan. Most artificially, like, fruity candy. Um, kind of whatever on. It's not really my thing. But, hey, I did hear that if you're a fan of Skittles, they had quite good representation in the newest Shazam movie, if, you know, that means anything to you. I have not seen that film. Probably won't go out of my way to go and watch it. Kind of very mixed and back and forth on DC uh, movies. The Flash seems cool, but not because it's about the Flash. He's a cool character, but um, yeah, the person playing said character is uh, yeah certainly something all right um but as a cool multiverse dc thing with like michael keaton back as batman and um supergirl i think supergirl's first ever movie like screen appearance that's cool uh and then i don't remember the actor's name but whoever he was the guy who played zod in uh, man of steel i like him a lot and so it's cool to see him back as zod for this but, um, yeah. I'd, I'd want to go see that more so because it's a cool, like, DC multiverse movie, less so because it's a, a Flash movie. Kind of feels like they're just using the Flash as, like, a means to do that. Uh, especially considering, again, yeah, said actor is, um... Mm-hmm. Sure is. But, mm-hmm. Either way, though, I, I don't know if I'm going to really go out of my way to go and see that in theaters. The only movie that I really wanted to do that with recently was Spider-Verse, and yeah, that was absolutely fantastic, so... I mean, I didn't expect it to not be. The first one was phenomenal, so, you know, they just kind of... <laughs> wow. They just, um... They kept that bar of quality quite high for the sequel, and I'm sure they will do the same in the prequel. Which will also be our last one. Pretty good year for Spider-Man, though, between that movie and uh, Spider-Man 2 looking pretty tasty uh, this October for PS5. Um, what I do need to actually do, though, is sit down and finally watch the latest Ant-Man movie, because I never saw that in theaters. It's been on Disney Plus for like a month now, and yeah, I should probably just watch that. 
heard it was pretty all right. And I kind of like to try and keep up with the MCU if I can. Not as feverishly as before. I feel like after Endgame, I'm not like as keen as I was as like seeing the movies in theaters. It's a couple every now and then that I think look good enough that I want to, but yeah, I should probably watch that before Secret Wars. Uh, I think that's next week as well. Which looks cool. I like that Nick Fury will kind of have his own dedicated show. <laughs> really? Two levels of intensify action on the, sh the shirt, huh? At this point, why not? Let's just look we'll all the way. G give me triple intensify action on the tie-dye. It can be my in intense Splatoon gaming shirt. But yeah, I probably should watch Ant-Man just in case. I kind of doubt it. But maybe there might be something I need to see in there that might be referenced or shown in uh, Secret Wars. Probably not. Because, I mean, there wasn't anything related to it in uh, Guardians. So I can't imagine a story focusing on, like, the scrolls and stuff is going to have much to do with uh, <laughs> Ant-Man. Ah, yes. Tenta missile. <sighs> yep, Tenta missiles. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> and yet again, another... I didn't even know a person was there kill with the blobber. I think it was like the same guy last match too. I was just kind of firing blobbers up there where I'm aiming and yeah, I think I got him. If nothing else, that's what's really fun about this weapon. These things just kind of bounce and jump all around that you can kind of just send them out and you may end up just getting a kill that you weren't ever really expecting to get. Bubbles are cool, too. Using them as a weapon is certainly unconventional. But if you can believe it, Splatoon isn't the first instance where I've seen bubbles being used for uh, attack purposes, I suppose you could say. Because uh, one of the... Uh... Okay, so my Naruto knowledge and lingo is... Admittedly kind of lacking because I'm just not as into the series as I used to be after she put it ended But I do believe that the uh, Characters who had tailed beasts associated with them or like uh, Sealed within them were referred to as Jinjuriki. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah, um, and one of them uh, I think it was the six tails He used uh, like bubbles as his main <laughs> method of attacking, which is sounds dumb, and it kind of is, but I don't know. I thought it was always really cool. And he was, like, pretty unique and fun to play as in the uh, Ninja Storm games. Because there would be a few characters every, like here and there that would primarily attack using, like, ranged abilities, and yeah, he was one of them with his bubbles. He didn't really have too much melee going on. I think Dator was another one who also mainly attacked with uh, ranged abilities with the explosive, like, clay structures that he made and threw out. And I always really liked Daedra. He was an interesting looking character. With his weird, like, mouth hands. And, uh... He had, like, a... Like, a single, like, night vision goggle kind of thing on under, like, his hair. On, like, his, his uh, whatever eye it was, his hair was covering. I don't know. Weird looking character, but I thought it was always pretty cool.
But yeah, that's enough of a Naruto tangent. Like I said, I haven't really seen or been into the series too much at all, so... Ninja Store games are pretty dope, though, and I think there's, like, a new one or, like, a compilation coming out at some point. I don't know if it's supposed to be this year, but, um, might pick that up. Those are always really fun. CyberConnect knows how to make a pretty banging anime licensed game. Ninja Storm games are dope. Uh, what else have they done? I think they've done some Dragon Ball games. Like, they did Kakarot. That was pretty fun. I thought that was a pretty good game, so... I think they might be developing... Actually, I don't know if they were confirmed as the developers of uh, Budokai 4. Might have been just Bandai. But either way, they make some good stuff. Dare I say the Ninja Storm games are their best work. Oh yeah, they also made the uh, the the Demon Slayer game. Uh, well, Kino, Kino Kami Chronicles, I think is what it was called. Which was basically like Ninja Storm, but with Demon Slayer. I'm not complaining, it was still a lot of fun. So they, they definitely know how to make their simple, but still fun, like 3D, arcade -y anime fighters. Bob Ross X? Oh my god. Wait, please tell me he's the one using the Octobrush. Please. I, I don't know if he was. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to confirm that for myself. He better be the one using the Octobrush. Just some brush. If, if you're gonna name yourself Bob Ross and, you know, in Splatoon and not use a paintbrush, I feel like you're, you're doing it wrong. Okay, was this Bob Ross? What? Bob Ross isn't using the Octobrush? Come on. I mean, I know it's Bob Ross X. So, you know, maybe this new cephalop cephalopod version of Bob Ross has switched over to something else, but I don't know. I feel like a paintbrush would be the most appropriate, regardless. Oh, hello, Squid Beacons. Well, let's just get rid of those. Oh, <laughs> and some dude while we're at it, and... Painted on for good measure. And there's some dude's payback. I love how I'm just getting these random, don't even see the person kills. Absolutely wonderful. The blobber was the correct choice. It always is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
couple more matches in and then uh, call it for tonight. I will. I'm, I want to try and diagnose that issue with uh, with OBS and like the um, the like frame rate not being you know accurate on the you know smooth on the uh, the software side. So I might try and diagnose that tonight because um, if I can, uh, you know, fix that issue. Uh, I definitely want to try and still do some Halo before Season 4 starts next Tuesday. So if I can fix it, figure out what's going on, then um, I can probably try and do some tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Because, yeah, I do like me some Halo. It's been a bit since I played. I still kind of want to get some warm-up in before Season 4. And, uh, yeah, that Firewall uh, event. This is the last chance I have to finish it off, and I had... I thought I only had, like, two more rewards, but I've got five more, so I you know, could take a... A little, little bit to finish off, so, yeah. Taste bubbles. Almost got him. Ha! I did get him, but he also got me, so... Traded. Yeah, this is, uh, I did, man. Bobber really is just, like, really fun. I don't know. Like, hearing those consecutive, like, little hits when all the bubbles hit somebody and then just, you know, landing a kill. Quite satisfying, I do say so. And, like, for a slosher, it's it's also just very weird-looking, because, like, I think this is, like, a sink or, like, a hot tub. I don't really know what this thing is supposed to be, but it definitely looks pretty odd next to uh, a lot of the other sloshers. Then again, I guess the sloshers, in, like, the grand scheme of things, do consist of some, you know, like, just items. Like, one of them is literally a washing machine. This thing is, like, a jacuzzi hot tub, whatever. And then another one of them is, like... I think the, the explosher is like, it's like an engine of some kind, so, you know. They they can get a little wacky with their uh, their designs every now and then, instead of just bucket. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, I'm gonna back out real quick, because uh, before I do the uh, last couple of matches here, I am gonna hit up the restroom, so I will be right back.
and I return. Where did I put my controller? Oh, right here. Okay. Alright, let's do a couple more matches. And, uh, yeah. And then we shall wind down for the evening. Been quite fun, though. I was genuinely not expecting to, uh, you know, cap out my, uh, well, I say cap out, get my Anika to uh, three stars tonight. Didn't think I was that close, but I will absolutely take it. Don Hung, nice. What's he using? There's not really like spears in this game. So, I don't know how accurate he can be to the character, but... All we can hope is that whoever is behind the controller mentally says... Well, actually, no, that's, uh... That's not his quote when he uses ultimate, so... I retract what I was about to say. Is that a Kraken? No, okay. I thought I saw a Kraken over there. But, uh, it was not, it was, it was pain. Oh, actually, it was normal ink brush. Well, I say normal ink brush, it was the Nova. Not sure if that's how you say that, but yeah, it's the, the newer weapon kit of the normal ink brush that was added, uh, I think last season? Might have been season two. I don't know. Can't quite remember. No. We will be having none of that Swatana here. You will succumb to bubbles and you will like it. Oh. And I have been spotted. That's better. Oop. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna back away from that. <laughs> yes! The power of the blobber. Come on. Try me, I dare you. Oh, uh, never mind. Don't, don't try me. I need ink. Okay, now try me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this was absolutely 100% the correct choice of next weapon. Oh, wait, are they... Get them both. Yeah, I think there's just this one dude here. Uh, any squid beacons or anything? I don't think so. I don't think any of their kits have that, so we should not have to worry about it. Whoa, uh, hi. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't think there was much I could do about that. Uh, well, yeah, this dude's been back here for a bit. I don't know how much I can really clean up with the time left. They got a lot of turf here in our spawns. I don't know. Oh, yeah, no, I think they got it. Yeah. We actually got a decent amount of their stones, but yeah, no, they still had it. Yo, oh, that guy's... That guy had some, like, really good drip. He had, like... Well, he had, I don't think that you can have, like, white pants or anything, but he had, like, the perfect, like, combo of black and white clothing. It looked really slick. And the pose, too. Like, the, the looking back pose. That looked really good. Sushi roll. Be having some of that next uh, Wednesday. Yes. Oh, did we get one? Yes, join me. Yes. No, no, you fell. There you go. Uh, I always love it when people come up here and join me. Oh, and, <laughs> and there he goes. 
Oh, what the hell? Oh. Oh. I didn't know you could actually land on top of the, uh... Uh, shell out machine. That's cool. I thought you'd just fall off of it. But yeah. Blues. Yeah, I would uh, very much appreciate more music from this new band. Please and thank you, Nintendo. I quite like them. And just, you know, more music, because, I mean, I... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I could kind of understand them not wanting to, like, I guess, overdo it when it comes to, like, bringing back old tracks, but at the same time, I don't know, man. When you play this game a lot, uh, yeah, you, you, you could definitely serve to, uh, to use a bit more variety with the tunes. But at least everything that we do have is really, really solid. There's so many good tracks in this game. I mean, it's, it's Splatoon. Like, come on. The music, damn it. Music is really good. Might be one of my favorite, uh, like, Nintendo series music. Because, like, it, it is insane how, how quality the music has been ever, ever since, like, even the first entry. Kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy XIV in that regard, because, like, man... Is music in that game just, like, god tier? And just, we continue to get more and more of it because, yeah, expansions. And I am 100% okay with that. Because Masayoshi Soken and his team, the people who make music for that game, are, like, just so good at what they do. May we be blessed uh, about the fact that he is also the main composer for 16. Because given what we've heard in some of the trailers, yeah, we're in for... Our ears are in for a treat with 16's music as well. Very, very excited. Also, I believe... Uh, I hope I'm saying this right. Kenshi Yoenzu? Um, is... Wow. <laughs> uh, is doing... Or did the main theme... Or, like, one of the main tracks for the game, and that is, uh, he's done a lot of good music, but I think his more noticeable recent, um, I guess, hit would have been, uh, Kickback from, uh, Chainsaw Man. Which, yeah, that's a solid-ass track right there that I continually still listen to. Listened to it earlier today, in fact. So yeah, they um they've definitely got some good talent on the uh, sound side of things and just overall the, the business team behind 16 and the the big names working on it. Yeah, it's it's gonna be quality. No doubt about that. Alright, well it is getting well it's like right at midnight, and I think that's about the time. Yeah, the, the craziness up in the skies above is about to start here on my end. So I should probably stop here and, uh, yeah, you know, turn off my computer and all that. Because uh, probably wouldn't be an ideal situation to leave it on during what will probably be a pretty gnarly lightning storm. If uh, anything, if yesterday was anything to go off of, because, man, there was a lot of lightning yesterday. So, yeah, um... I'm a little bummed that Halo didn't work out, but I, at least I know that there is an issue with that, and I will certainly be looking into it to hopefully fix it, so that way, uh, you know, I can actually stream it at good, consistent, nice frame rate. Um, but yeah, at least Splatoon was really fun, and we got a lot done tonight, so... Oh yeah, and I also leveled up. I am now level 51. Check that out. Very nice. Uh, I don't 
I think I leveled up my catalog again. No. So, cool. But yeah, that's going to do it for Splatoon. And I think uh, it will, of course, end the stream tonight as well. So thank you to everybody who came out and did watch. I do hope you enjoyed. Hope you've all had a good week and uh, enjoy the start of your weekend. Hope you all enjoy that. And like I said, if I can get the, uh, the issue sorted, I will try to be back tomorrow with some Halo. Um, even not, even then, though, if I can't get it fixed in that time, uh, maybe I'll just do some more Katamari or something. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But yeah, thanks again. And uh, I'll see you all next time. But for now, good night.